That part of the river was shallow and it was easy to hook fish because there were not many rabbits so you could see the fish. By telling our stories, it's, we have stories for warfare, for everyday life, lessons in life, how to be respectful, how to behave properly, uh, respect your elders, respect young people, respect your peers. In a perfect way to make this seamless canoe that will bring us forward into the future. And the only way that we're going to be able to do that really well is by understanding one another. We need to have mastery, opportunities to learn new things. And he says um, we need to have generosity. We have all of those things in place here. And we're interconnected, just like a, a woven cedar basket. So yo is hello, Weeksus, how are you? Yo, Weeksus, and then Eekman, I am fine. So three little words, <clears throat> you can, you know, you can wrap it up a bit, you know, yo, yo, but that's how you say hello, so. Because they had no children. So my dad and his brother were given away to help my aunt and uncle. So it's a Irish, uh, Welsh tradition. It took me and my friends at the beach um, it kind of, it represents, like, the homes it provides, the jobs, and, like, everything it gives for us. Tonight, we hope, is, is one step in, in many more conversations and stories that I think, if we really want to be sustainable in the long run, we need to tell stories for the rest of our lives. So I think to help the Camel River become a sustainable if we all respect one another, we'll all get along. I am fine. So three little words. <clears throat> you can you know you can wrap it up a bit. You know yo yo, but that's how you say hello. So.